English friends. Today I'm here with another installment of From Pages to Screen. Uh, I will do an oldie but a goldie. I will compare the uh, book and movie adaptations of uh, Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca was a, a, a gothic suspense or romantic suspense novels uh, that was written in uh, 1938 by Daphne de Maurier. Uh, I read this book when I was a teenager uh, and I was so surprised by how how can such a book exist uh, because it had all the things that I wanted in a book. Uh, it had uh, romance, it had uh, mystery, it had a gothic presence, uh, it had a very good uh, sense of space with the house Menderley. And uh, I really loved it. I then reread it as an adult about 10 years ago. I loved it even more because I really enjoyed the psychological aspects of the uh, book instead of focusing on the romance like I did in my teenage years. And I gave Rebecca 5 out of 5 stars. I consider Rebecca as one of my top 5 books uh, and uh, depending on the day it can go, go into top three books as well. In the book, uh, our heroine, who is not named uh, throughout the book, uh, uh, meets a very uh, handsome and dashing widower, Maxim de Winters, when uh, she was in Monte Carlo uh, as a companion to an old, older lady. Uh, and uh, they uh, immediately fall in love and uh, our heroine cannot believe her luck uh, because uh, she's she considers herself plain and uh, not not having any uh, good qualities um, and then uh, after a quick wedding uh, they uh, they come to live uh, with in Manderley. Manderley plays a very important part in the book uh, it sets the gothic uh, setting of the book uh, and uh, when they live in Manderley, uh, she is uh, overshadowed by uh, Maxim's uh, late wife, Rebecca. And she tries to find out how Rebecca lived and how she uh, passed away. And then uh, she tries to solve the mystery by herself. Because of the popularity of the book, uh, the Rebecca was uh, turned into a movie in 1940, only two years after this. Its, its publication. Uh, it was uh, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I think he's one of the geniuses in the 20th century cinema. Uh, he, I really enjoy his uh, works. He's one of my favorite directors. Mm. The movie starred uh, Laurence Olivier as Maxim, uh, John Fontaine as, the, uh, as our heroine, the second uh, Mrs. De Winters, as 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 it calls in the IMDb, and in the book, um, George Sanders and uh, Judith Anderson. The movie received two uh, Academy Awards, one for uh, Best Picture and one for Best Cinematography in Black and White. In From Pages to Screen uh, video series, I compare uh, book to movie in according to four criteria. The four criteria that I compare are faithfulness to the book, uh, casting choices, acting quality and my IMDB rating. The latter two criterias are uh, actually very subjective criterias, uh, but I try to uh, mix uh, objective and subjective criterias because uh, this is really my thoughts about the movie and the book. As for faithfulness to the book, uh, I gave uh, Rebecca plus, although it omitted some parts because uh, it's a movie and it had, it had to be shorter, uh, I think the parts they omitted were not a uh, very critical part, especially the adaptation of the ending was really good. As for casting choices, I think they did a fairly good job. I think Lawrence Olivier was a very handsome man for his time. I mean, uh, so he fits the role perfectly. Although John Fontaine is a uh, really attractive woman, 
uh, because of the maybe uh, the director's uh, choice uh, she was made very plain and uh, it it really fitted the uh, the second Mrs. De Winters again and especially for Miss Danner's characters Judith Anderson was the perfect choice I, in my opinion and as for acting quality uh, Lawrence Olivier, I think, did a very good job in this movie. Uh, I watched him uh, in some of his other works, and he played too over dramatically in those works. Uh, but in this movie, he played uh, really good because his character had to be uh, very quiet, uh, brooding, and uh, mysterious. Uh, and he really did a very good job uh, as regards to acting in this movie. Uh, John Fontaine was also very good, but the acting star of the movie was uh, Judith Anderson. She did a fantastic job. Uh, she was even more uh, creepier than in the book, uh, as Mrs. Danver. Although I gave all three criteria plus for this uh, adaptation, I think the acting quality was, was the most successful uh, criteria uh, in that movie. And uh, as for my IMDb rating, uh, I gave uh, Rebecca 9, 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed the movie, uh, although the book was better, of course. Uh, the movie had uh, better qualities, uh, especially as regards to uh, Mrs. Dammer's character. So that was my uh, front pages screen video today. Uh, uh, it was so good to uh, do a video about uh, your favorite book and one of your favorite movies. Uh, so uh, I really enjoyed this uh, video. I hope you, you did too. Uh, so uh, if you have any comments about the book, the movie, uh, about uh, this video series, about which books I sh that I should choose for this uh, video series, and uh, anything you want uh, and uh, also please like and subscribe uh, if you like this video uh, hope to see you very soon bye for turkish word of the day i think word of the day uh, should be house because uh, in this uh, book uh, the house called manderley plays a very important role uh, in the uh, in setting the atmosphere of the book. Uh, ha house means ev in Turkish and ev is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day. <laughs>